Hello boys and girls, today we're going to talk about theme. Theme is a message that you can find and apply to your own life. Okay, The theme refers to the central idea or message the author is trying to convey to the reader. The theme is rarely stated in the text. Instead, the reader must infer the theme. That means it's not going to have anything as far as the setting, the plot, the characters. It's a universal thing. It's like what your parents might say to you. It, it can go with different stories. Okay? A universal theme has broad appeal and is it about an emotional or problem that is common to all people and cultures. And this is what I said. Pay attention to the problem in the story. Okay? That'll get you mind thinking about the actual theme. Universal means that it applies to anyone, anywhere, and any time, and it will not include the character's name. And I keep stressing that because when we go to write them, we got to leave out the character's name. Okay? Okay? Theme is often confused with the plot or topic. The theme of a piece of literature is a message about people, life, and the world we live in. That the author wants the reader to understand. The topic is the main idea or what it's mostly about. The plot is the sequence of events or actions that make up the story. So once again when, when we write our theme, no characters now and nothing about the story. So let's look at an example here. The book is Cinderella. The topic or main idea is a poor girl marries a prince. Notice characters names. Notice there's some plot in there. There's some events, okay? Now I want to write a theme, characters go away, plot goes away. Never give up on your dreams. Nothing about the characters, nothing about the plot. It's just a central message. It's what you're trying to teach the reader after they're done reading. Another example, Charlotte's Web. A talking spider helps a pig. Once again, characters, plot, events, all the topic, the main point of the story. Now I'm going to get over to the theme. True friendship can't be beat. Okay, once again, no characters, no setting, no plot. Okay, so that's the big message here. We're not writing anything about the character, setting, or plot. Okay, let's go take some look at some most common ones. Believe in yourself. Be happy with what you have. Treat others the way you would want to be treated. Accept yourself, never give up, respect authority, friendships can come in forms you don't expect, prejudice is harmful, it's best to tell the truth, don't be afraid to try new things, accept others' differences, make good choices, procrastination can have negative consequences, and help those in need. You can write a story, several stories, using any of these. You can write two or three stories with never giving up. You can write a bunch of stories about accept yourself. Okay, It's what the characters are doing in the story in order to present these things. Okay, So let's go ahead and look at an example and see how well we can do. So I'm going to read this and keep in mind these are themes. Keep in mind what we don't talk about. We don't talk about setting. We don't talk about characters and we don't talk about plot. It was the day after Halloween, and Mason was going through his stash of treats. He, he was sorting his favorite pieces of candy, the chocolate bars from the duds, like the Tootsie Rolls. His twin sister, Madeline, entered the room and asked if she could have one of his chocolate bars. No way, he responded. This candy is all mine. Besides, don't you remember when you said you were going to stay home with Mom to hand out candy this year? And... How I warned you that I wasn't going to share any of the candy I got with you? Sheesh, Madeline replied. I just asked for one piece. Then she walked away. Mason knew what would happen when his mom got home. She would make him share half his candy, favorites included with Madeline. He wasn't about to let that happen. He then ate every single one of his favorite chocolate bars. By the end, he didn't feel so good. 
In fact, within a few hours, he was very sick and found himself regretting his decision. So go ahead and read through A, B, and C. I'll give you a minute to read through A, B, and C. Remember, no plot, no characters, nothing about the setting. So go ahead and make your choice. We have eating too much candy can make you sick. Two things when deciding between two activities. Think two things through when deciding between two activities. Selfishness can have negative consequences. Don't expect others to give you something just because you made a bad choice. Once again, it's the problem in the story. Okay, so think about what was the problem and think about what happened. Okay, so if you chose C, that would have been an excellent choice because, because he was selfish and didn't give any of his candy, he decided to eat his candy. And what happened when he ate his candy? He didn't feel so good. Okay, so he got sick was the problem. So that was teaching a lesson to maybe he should have gave some of his candy to his sister. Okay? So in Wrapped, to wrap this up, a theme sums up the story message in a few words. It may or not, may or not be a sentence. So you know, I always have to write a sentence. Can appear in the setting characters in action, but you don't write about the setting characters in action. And usually not directly stated. You're not going to read it in the story most of the time. Okay, hope that helps you out with theme. Have a great day, and I'll see you all soon.